octogenarians and in love for five decades. They just happen to be women who until now could not legally wed. It's not, we, when we first got together, we weren't really thinking about getting married. We were just thinking <laughs> of, about getting together. But uh, I think it's a wonderful day. Phyllis Lyon and Del Martin were among the first of dozens of gay couples to get married in California, a right given by the state Supreme Court when it struck down the Golden State's ban on same-sex marriage. The ruling became official at one minute past five in the evening. And today we could confidently say it's the first day in the state of California that we are providing marriage equally and fairly to everyone, denying no one their right and their opportunity to live their lives out loud. As well as what a great day. San Francisco's mayor famously gave out hundreds of marriage licenses at City Hall four years ago to gay couples. His act ultimately struck down by the state. Four years ago, Dell and Phyllis were the first to wed two. Gay rights advocates heralded today as a watershed moment. History has been made of the most profound kind. The kind of history that historians write about and that being alive for is the greatest privilege possible. No, the standard no of God. God, well, God was created by, by human beings. Outside City Hall wasn't all cheers. A smattering of anti-gay marriage and anti-gay protesters made their views seen with signs and voices heard. Homosexual or bisexual love, okay, is evil, is perverted, and is cursed by God. Okay, we should not endorse these type of filthiness. We have to obey God. Across the state, gay marriage opponents filed last-minute appeals to halt the granting of marriage licenses and sent faxes to clerks telling them they didn't have to give them out if they felt it violated their beliefs. But in San Francisco, a city with a strong gay community, the show went on. Today was a day for celebration and for cutting wedding cake. John Mull, the Associated Press, San Francisco.